We have arrived. The bishop's nephew lives here? Yes, he rents a ground floor room. Can I help you, gentlemen? How do you do, madam? We should like to see one of your lodgers, Henry Hamford. Well, he's away. And you must understand, I don't open my door to strangers, especially with all these prowlers about. That is the reason for our visit. You're the police? No, Henry is a friend of ours. He expressed his concern to us about these intruders. We're here at his request. I'm not surprised. Mr. Henry, while he might seem strange at first, is a thoughtful and kind man. You must have noticed how worried I've been. Why, just this morning some of my washing was stolen, and I'm sure it was those ones who took it. It seems like the best place to start our investigation. May we step into your garden and then perhaps look into our friend's room? I don't see anything wrong with your looking over the garden, but his room... You understand, he didn't warn me. I understand. What should we do next, Holmes? Let's have a look in the garden. Yes, let's, because apparently... Finding the landlady's missing laundry is clearly... Closed. Finding her missing laundry is clearly the best... Our best shot at solving this, uh, this murder. Without a doubt, it is the linen belonging to Henry's landlady. Indeed, there appears to be some linen missing. Gonna swipe some clothespins, don't mind me. There should be a spade here. Yep, that is the, uh, <laughs> that is like the shadow of a spade. A small pickaxe. Okay. A rake. Why take it, Holmes? Well, I mean, have you seen the state of her gardening, Watson? It's pretty, uh... It's pretty shoddy. I'm not afraid to say so. Uh, what do we have here? Looks like we have a pretty shitty burglar alarm. <laughs> Tins of food tied to one another. The wire seems long enough. They look to me as though they're rudimentary traps used to indicate the presence of intruders. Oh, what a jumble. Okay, that's everything. Watson going on again about jumbles. Watson, if you really want to do the jumble in the newspaper, I can pick one up. On our way back, maybe get him a Sudoku book or something. There is something interesting here. I need something. Can I knife it out? No, it is un unnecessary. Let's burn the fence down then. A hole was drilled a short while ago. Good, we can pass. Alright. It's gonna cause some property damage here, don't mind. If I do. Was there... Oh. This window overlooks the room belonging to the nephew of the Bishop of Knightsbridge. The landlady's gonna get so freaked out with me peeping in, but that's okay. This is, uh... No, I don't know if I should go in here yet. Close. No, I can't. It's fine. I'm pretty sure that Holmes isn't really trying to solve the mystery at this point. He's just like taking her, oh, taking her gardening supplies, like breaking her fence. He's just, uh, he's just in one of those moods. He's being a hellraiser. It is just as I thought. Here's an ideal view of Henry's room. That confirms that the young man was being watched. Go forward. There we go. 
Oh, a newspaper. This newspaper is four days old. The bishop's nephew was being watched long before his uncle's murder. Nearly half the population of London is threatened by a serious food crisis. And it risks turning into a famine if the public authorities do not react. Well, that's <laughs> clearly not important to the overall story, am I right? So let's just forget about the famine subplot there. The remains of a small meal. Someone has stayed here rather a long time. Oh yeah? What kind of foods are we talking about, Holmes? We got like uh, some nice white wine, we got an apple, got some toast. Oh, Watson, look, it's that picnic I promised you. Back at the, um, oops. Back in that like White Chapel Cemetery video. Nothing of interest here. Nothing, oh, I guess they're really, it's green, so, all right. Uh, oh. Is that? Hello? It is obviously the clothing stolen from the landlady. We must return it. I guess so. I mean, it looks like a pretty sweet jacket. No, it is. Oh, can I use the uh, rake? Yes, jackpot. This clothing is torn. The man who stole it must have caught it on a tree when he stood upon the fence. And at the moment when he jumped, he left this jacket in the tree. Garden gumshoe. Well, look at that. Just like the fire department, I got, uh, well, instead of like a kitten out of the tree, I got an old lady's clothes. I don't want to brag, but I'm basically a hero. To let. To let, eh? I'm pretty sure that means to rent. And the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. So yeah, just gonna add trespassing to the list of Holmes's crimes. And I guess that makes Watson an accessory to this as well. In addition to, uh, you know, aiding and abetting that murderer and getting him out of jail. Which begs the question, where is Hans Schielman? Did they just send him back to Baker Street? I guess? On his own recognizance, like, hey, you just, you just wait there. Closed. I'm pretty sure we can just leave him in the apartment. He'll be fine. He won't concoct any horrible poisons while we're away. He's still drugged. Oh, the walking is terrible! Good grief. Is this the washing you were looking for? Oh, yes, that's it. Where did you find it? On the ground. Doubtless blown there by the wind. They didn't steal it, then. I'd have felt better knowing that those lurkers were nothing more than clothes thieves. That is not the case, madam. This affair seems to be rather more serious than that. It appears that these intruders were spying on Henry. Now, please, let us see his room. Gracious me, whatever next. Come in. Take the first door on the left. It's open. He never locks it. Never? No, never. Well, you know him. He doesn't do things like everyone else. He lives in a world of his own. When did you see him last? Did he say anything to you? Yesterday morning. He just muttered a few words. I can't always understand what he's saying. When he does talk, that is. I can ask him a question, but he just stares off somewhere. The floor, the ceiling, as if I wasn't there. At first I found it strange, but I've gotten used to it. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. He's sometimes nervous too, isn't he? Oh yes, as soon as anything upsets him. Even when he's alone in his room he gets cross. And then the next second he is standing stock still. He stares off into space and calms down again as fast as he became angry. <laughs> that sounds like like my good buddy Harold or Henry. Oops. That's oh, a good thing she's not here anymore. I would totally would have blown my cover. So first door on the left. Can I explore? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a sweet achievement for exploring 
this old lady's apartment. I guess not. Gotta get those chivos. Alright, you got what, trousers? What do you think, Holmes? No, oh, Watson. I'm trying to look at this man's pants. He got his scarf out, but he forgot to take it. Oh, it's a scarf. Do I still have the um I have I still have the spade in my inventory. Okay, that's interesting. No hat, no coat. Well, the landlady did say that she that he was gone, so it's not not too surprising. This rubbish bin was emptied, and then someone threw a torn piece of paper in it. And judging by the smell, there was also an onion. Onion? Let us put these torn pieces of paper on the table. Yes, paper puzzle! Well, before we do that... What is this strange like installation? This. this candle is still hot. It's been used recently. During the day? Whatever for? Well, I'm guessing I need to put the thing together and hold it up to the light or something, but let's look at the rest of the room before we do that. Where are you going? Holmes, what are you doing? What? Where? It is an impressive library for someone <laughs> living alone. <laughs> and he's read all that. Impressive. Yeah, he's read the wallpaper? That is impressive, Watson. Um, alright, I don't know why they did that. I don't know. <laughs> that was interesting. Hey, this guy plays a violin too, Holmes. A violin. It is a lovely one, but where's its case? He must have the case, but he's got a gun inside. He's a gangster. There is something interesting here. No, it doesn't seem that interesting. I'm not gonna lie. There is something interesting. All right, gotta pry this apart with the hoe or the speed box. Let's see. Oh, great, another lockbox puzzle. But it's like a radio. Oh, good, another box puzzle. Well, hang on. I would like to explore the rest of the room first. This is what, like the fifth box puzzle? Come on, game. Come on. Someone emptied a bag here. So I guess the implication is that he was in a rush or something. If his scarf was on the floor and whatnot. Well, let's do the paper puzzle first. Then we'll, then we'll open up another locked box. For like the fourth or fifth time. It never gets old. Um, well, I guess let's look for the corner pieces. Oh, I can... I can flip it? Oh, good. Because that wasn't... As if it wasn't hard enough. So, I figured I'd skip through most of the rotating stuff. If you're following along at home, which I sincerely hope you're not using this video as a guide to solve these puzzles, because I'm sure there are infinitely better and faster walkthroughs out here. Uh, this is what it looks like, in case you are. So I had to do a bit of moving it around it's sort of, you can look at the corners and you can kind of figure out which is the corner piece because it sort of fits under the things, like these little bolts. But uh, yeah, I just want to have the stains be sort of clumped together. Both sides of the paper are blank. All this for nothing, Holmes. Perhaps not, Watson. There's some kind of questionable stain on this paper, Watson. All right, so let's take out our trusty matches. Light this candle, light this baby up. Set the mood, Watson, if you know what I mean. The mood to solve the mystery. Pervert. And uh, light the um, light the scarf on fire. I'm pretty sure is the solution to the puzzle. All right, thanks for watching. What is this strange installation? What is? Oh my God, Watson, if you would fucking let me. I need some. Not the paper? Or I have to put the... That's why I still have them.
Okay. Oh. South. South Gank! Not South Bank. Something Street. I can't really read what that first word is because of that thing. That's okay. Stinging Street. Wharf. 32. 3. 321 South Bank. The address of a dock on the Thames. Written in onion juice. Okay, now I've seen everything. Oh boy, and we have that box puzzle still. Oh good, I almost forgot. Well, I still have the scarf, so presumably the scarf is the key. Or something. A box, let's see. The lock on this box is very sophisticated. But I guess that's not what he's gonna say. That's okay. He scratched the lock's cipher codes for himself. Watson, write them down for us. Yes, Watson, be a good boy. He scratched... Well, why aren't... What? I mean, I can't really read that. Is there uh Find a way to open the box. Is there a way to actually look at it? In notes? No? Do I ask Watson? Watson, what are the numbers? My eyesight isn't what it used to be. What do you think? Ugh, what a jerk. Ask him to help out. A box. Help solve a... Solve a box puzzle just this once and he doesn't do it. I am missing some information. Oh, I see. I can rotate the actual... Oh, boy. Okay. He scratched... So there it looks like, is that... Oh, whoa. Look at these box graphics. These graphics are the best. So that's two. It is noted. Thanks. Thanks, pal. It is noted. Because there's no way I'm going to remember all these. One, two, three, five. I can remember I that one. I have noted down everything. This lock is very complex. The young Henry is remarkably intelligent. All right, so I've been puzzling this out, and I think I have it figured out. Or I have most of it figured out. So, for one, I'm pretty sure it's uh, the Fibonacci sequence. I'm pretty sure that's that's what it's called, and I'm not thinking the wrong thing. And that's where you add two digits, and then you get the next one in the sequence, and you then add those two, and you get the next one. So. 1 and 2 is 3, 2 and 3 is 5, 3 and 5 is 8. So that one is definitely right. Uh, I'm not afraid to say. Uh, and then so 2 is uh, its totals from what I've figured out. So 4 and 2 and 3 is 9, 1 and 6 and 2 is 9, so 5 and 3 plus 1 is 9. And then 3 and 4 I'm not I have an idea for it, but I'm not entirely sure about because it, it doesn't seem to be working. But 21... This one, 3 is a sequence, so 21 minus 3 is 18, minus 2 is 16. Bottom row, 9 plus 1, plus 2. So it's either adding or subtracting one number and then the next one, next number in the sequence. And then, so the middle one, you get 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15, but there's no... 10 in the thing. It's all single digits, so I don't know if it has to be zero or so. I don't. I don't know. I mean, it de it's definitely 10, but there's no 10 on here. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh god. But the last one is another sequence. 10 minus 2 minus 2. Middle row, 3 plus 4 plus 4. So it's just either adding or subtracting the same number. Again, so 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, so it's going to be 3. Yeah, that's not right. Okay, that's great. Um, I mean, I don't... I don't know. Because it's definitely that. I mean, it's definitely 6 plus 4 plus 15. 
or just plus five, I should say. And, oh. Empty. But according to the label, this box contained a Colt Patterson. It is a powerful weapon, Holmes. And judging by the receipt, it was new. My dear Watson, in the garden and in this room, pieces are missing that should never have left their places. What do you think? Well, hang on. Before I get to that, I mean... I mean... Why would you have the pattern be that it's the number for... Oh, that's so dumb. I wasted so much time. Because it's the... Uh, the missing number is the one that you plug into the thing. But the, there's no 10, and so why would it be 4? That's so stupid that it would go against its own pattern. Anyway, sorry, rant over. I, I do like this little note here. My dear Watson. Missing the... Well, I mean, the revolver is missing, the shovel is missing. The case is missing. And, oh, I mean, well... The coat and hat, I mean, is that really... That it shouldn't, it shouldn't ever have left? I don't think so. I don't know how many I can choose, but oh, only three. Is that really the puzzle? Watson, there's not a moment to lose. Go and thank that charming lady while I try to recapture our new friend. Recapture? What makes you think that he has run away? I believe that our man suffers from behavioral problems. You must have seen or heard about those poor fellows who spend their time counting the gravel stones in the garden or moving objects from one place to another hundreds of times in one day. Well, the bishop's nephew suffers from a moderate form of this condition. Nothing would be more disturbing to him than to leave a personal space in such chaos. And yet this is what he has done with this room. For it to reach such a state of neglect can only indicate that he was in a most desperate situation. And do you think that you can catch him? Yes. The candle here is still warm, so he left only a few minutes before our arrival. But it is the missing violin case and the large pistol which concern me. We know that he is quick-tempered and volatile. It is never wise to leave a gun quite capable of killing a bull in the hands of someone like that. Did he leave to go to the address which was written in the invisible ink, do you think? Undoubtedly, Watson. And as for the missing spade, I can tell you that it will be used for digging. Are you ever going to stop delaying me with endless questions? Yeah, Watson, shut up. So, gentlemen, have you found anything? We have learned enough to promise you that they will not return. That makes me feel better. Thank you, gentlemen. We are going to pay a visit to that mysterious address, Watson. But first, we must detour to Lambeth. Lambeth? What are we going to do there? Pick up an old friend. He will be a precious help in our locating Mr. Hampford. Good. And who is this friend? A friend who helped us in the case you so romantically titled The Sign of the Four. <laughs> 